Hello and welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. We are going to do another tutorial today. I think this is the third one today. We are on it, you know. This one is going to be for a MSC editor tutorial. We're going to get more in depth on how to use it. So what I want to do is I just want to quickly drive to the lorry just for demonstration purposes. You know, the old pooper the poop sucking machine so yeah I just want to show you that we don't have any keys on us currently for this demonstration just so we can show you how it works and give you an idea you know if you're one of those that have put like 400 hours into the game and really don't feel like starting again at this current moment in time where is it it's just around here isn't it then yeah this could help you speed things along a bit you know, rebuilding your car, giving you that little extra cash just to um, purchase everything, or even just have everything bought all straight away. Oh, look, he's going home. Alright, son. So, yeah, if we just shut this off, undo our seatbelt, and then just jump into the old poop machine, and you will see that we do not have any keys. I'm clicking that button, we have nothing. Do we have them? Can we put these lights on? Hand throttle? What's that for? I haven't used this truck in such a long time, you know? So, what's this one? Wipers? So, lights. And then there was another one somewhere for interior lights. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so we don't have the key to the lorry. So if I quickly go and save it, and the time is nearly 8 o'clock. Alright, so I'm going to go through all the parts that I basically use in the MSC editor. I normally enjoy building... Oh, would help if I lift the handbrake off, wouldn't it? I normally enjoy doing the building part, so the engine build and putting the car together. That's my favourite part of the game, when starting a new game. But, having to go and grind for the cash, that bit gets annoying sometimes. That would be changed down again, wouldn't it? So if we quickly just go behind, uh, what's his name? Timo's shop, and just save up. some power this car now isn't it and then we will jump straight onto the MSC editor and give you an idea of how it works hopefully it'll be better than our last tutorial all right all right so if we just push that and um, we've actually got a thing now so you can see everything I'm doing so what we want to do is want to go file open and it's this folder here yeah you can see this one the default ES2 file. So you want to open that and this is where you can teleport your objects. This is where you get your Satsuma report. So it tell you all your loose bolts, fixed parts and if everything's all good there. And we can also go to maintenance. So as you can see, I've got about half a tank of gas. Our engine level's good. Uh, but if any of this was a problem, you just hit fix and it put it straight up to 100%. And then, look, you've got your racing carb here. If this was all out of tune, it would tell you. So let's put that to 12. Uh, set. Oh, even 12 is good. But it right, may be higher. So, if I click on it. 19. So that's bad, you see. So if it was badly tuned, it would tell you. And you can click fix. Obviously, we're going for a... This was Flitaris tune. So this is a racing tune. So we want a 16... 0.75 and that will match all of that and then you've got your rocker shaft so your cylinder intake your exhaust and all that that's all there and then all your parts so you've got your tire condition uh, your water pump condition start condition rocker shaft condition all your pistons your head gasket your gearbox fuel pump crankshaft clutch alternator and suspension fan belts distributor timing and all that and your final gear ratio so you can change that you can pretty much do everything here without having to go for Taurus if you haven't got the cash. Or you can just come on here and click the old player 
and it'll give you your berry skill so you can get that all maxed out. Uh, you got your cigarette, so you can give yourself another 20 if you wanted. Uh, player finds, you haven't got any. We, you could, this one will stop your dirt from going up. And this one will stop your dirt from going down. Obviously you want it to stop going up, so you'd click that. And player drunk, you could drink and drink. Same again, and not get pissed. Your fatigue, you can do the same, not get tired. You know, this thing's had a proper good update. So it make your game a lot easier if you was just going on there to mess around. You know, if you are not really interested in doing a story just yet until the game gets closer to being out of early access. But you've got yeah, fatigue, you've got hunger, which I have down for now. Player is dead, you've got last name. Player money, you could give yourself a million marks. and Or you can have it all the way up and it never goes down. Or you can just do your story and find drunk guy's suitcase. The mosquito shield, I always have up. Sometimes that changes itself back, but I always put it that because it's annoying. The buzzing. you got your stress. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to have a quick start the game without having to worry about doing this, you just click naught and you click enter and then it'll be back to naught and it'll slowly build up and all that. you got your first, which we have down, weight, work logs and all that. Yeah, so there's a CD. Not much interesting from that i did write a list of what i'm going to talk about i'm quickly find it so yeah so we've done the check the engine condition that's all good so if we mark that off we've done the player so just say you went to sleep and you've just woke up and it's night time or you need it to be a certain time in the day or even a certain day so 1 would count as Monday, 7 would count as Sunday, so you can change your day just through doing that. Then you've got your world time. I always set it to either 6 or 8. Mind you, the shops don't open till 10, so if you set it to 8, it always jumps forward 2 hours. So, yeah, by the time you get into the game, it will be 10 o'clock. And then we've got drunk. You type in drunk. And you got drunk player stage, so we're at zero at the moment. Then drunk angry, say you found his suitcase and you stole it, and every time you start the game, because you don't want to kill him, but he always ends up with an axe, you can keep changing this to false, and he won't be pissed at you. And then, I don't know what this is, drunk end sheer. Drunk, what's that say? Drunk end is here. Oh, that's probably when he hangs himself. So you can change that to false, so he'll never hang himself, and you can keep him alive. It's the same with um, all players, I think. You've got Susky. So Susky stage one. Um, Susky, don't know what that is. And then Yeah, so it's all that stuff. So you can pretty much adjust everything. So say you um, your, your game file crashed or went tits up, and you lost most of your stuff, or you died. You can quickly just jump on the MSC editor and put yourself back to where you was. So we've done that. We've done drunk guy. You can also teleport objects. So we were say you um, you died in a crash. Obviously, if you haven't got permadeath on, then you will spawn at the bus stop by Timo's. But your car is wherever you crashed, and you've got no way of getting home unless you get a bus. But by that time, you could have died of dehydration or that. So you could quickly just spawn yourself, uh, was it the Rusco or the van at the garage. We'll do that in a minute because there's a few other things I want to do with the teleport object. But for now, what is the um, poop truck called? The Jifu. Was it the Gifu? So if you find the Gifu and you go key Gifu, and you type in one, you now have the key to the poop truck. It is the same with what was the van? That's a H in it. Uh I think I just saw it. The Hayo Sicko. So if you haven't got the key to the van and you want that, you can do the same there. Let me just find it. The Hayo Sicko. As it's spelled, so it's spelled like that. Hey, sicko. K 
key so you can then just do one and you'll have the key for that and then obviously if you don't want to be buying everything back from like let's say racing parts if you don't want to be buying everything again from the magazine because you've already done it 20 times before you can just type in everything that you want to put in your car before you build it or after inspection and you just click on purchased you click true and it will be outside Timo's shop like normal but it won't be boxed yeah so and then you just go and pick it up or you can have it all teleported back to the garage so this stuff really does help you out if you've played the game like tons before and you just want to do other things you know just mess around so if we just quickly jump back into the game then so we've done all that stuff then you hit save and then you go into your game Right, and then once you're loaded in, if we just drive back over to the old... Oh yeah, let, let's check the time. So it's now 10 o'clock in the morning. No sunset, no more. So yeah, we'll just take a nice slow drive over to the old poop sucking machine. Look, our stress is down. Right. So it, the quickest way is to go straight down here, innit? And then just do a left. Like so. Right, and then we will show you that we now have the key to the old poop mobile. The poop mobile. We need that running for a minute. Which is good because it, this is the best vehicle in the game to be towing stuff. You know? If you like, if say you have a big massive wreck with your car or you blow the engine, this is the one to have. So there you go, look. You now have the old key to the Gifu. Oh, it has got fuel. Oh, okay. I don't remember that. I'll have to go through my old episodes to see. Is she gonna die? No, she good? Alright, so, now you know that works. If we shut our car off, I just wanna do another demonstration purpose. So, I'm going to need my ratchet set for this. I think this has happened to quite a few of us. Where is my ratchet set? Let me guess, it's not in the car. Oh, there it is. Wicked. Yeah, this one has happened to a lot of us. In fact, it happened to me the other day. So, if we... Open this and then what should we take off the car? Tell you what, let's take the grill. So size seven, I think, or size six. Tell you what, let's do the light instead. We've got the thingy. So if we just disconnect that, pop it out. We've all done, wait there, this before, lost it in the ground, yeah, so it's completely vanished. If that ever happens to you, we we'll put this in the car, go save it again. Uh, handbrake's off this time, don't need our seatbelt. So we've now lost our headlight. And we accidentally went to pick it up, but then we headbutted and it went into the ground and it would appear to be gone forever. Yeah? But, if we go save it and then we just jump onto our trusty old friend, the MSC editor. Oh, slow down. Uh, that do, that's fine. Shut her off, do that, jump out of the car, go save it. And I will see you over here on the MSC editor if I can get my mouse back. Any time now. Right, there we go. So we want that one. Let me just click on that. It'll load everything that you've done. So what side was it? Right side, wasn't it? So if we go teleport object 
Uh, so, if we just find it, it would be headlight, wouldn't it? So, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There we go. Headers, headlight left, headlight right. That's the one we lost. And we will teleport it over to the graveyard. Also, while we're here, if you um, ever wanted to change the tyres that were on your car, so if we just type in wheel, uh, you got to know what wheels you got, and they're all named different ones. So if we go, we've got the wheel slot one, but obviously you got the wheel spoke, you got wheel rally. But if you just click on the ones you've got, yeah, and then you click on to tire type, it goes from one to four. So one being standard road tire, two being the more advanced road tire, three being rally tire, and then four being drag slick tires. Yeah. So if you just change out on all four of them then that will give you the tyres you require for whatever you're doing at the time. You can also change the tyre health. Uh, you can have it unlimited. I believe 100 is good and 0 is bad. Normally it goes 100 is bad and 0 is good. You know, like 100% worn, but it's backwards on here. So 100% is good, but you could either do it on there. You have to change the tyre type on here, but you can also change the tyre wear over on maintenance so it's just down here tire wheel slot yeah so 98 83 and all that so if you'd like to do burnouts a lot and you pop your tires you can just come back on here and fix it all right and then we'll save it we will jump back into the game so yeah once we get loaded in it should work in fact we will quickly drive over there because it'll just be quicker so if we just quickly jump in the car and now we've um, teleported the right light well the right left light my gears are working nope I've done something one sec uh, so gear up gear down there we go start the car release the handbrake we get a start girl there you go Let's get it here. burn out baby Right, so, once we get over here, everything that you've spawned into the graveyard will be at the graveyard right here. Oh, no, that one. So yeah, there's our headlight, and that is how teleporting objects work. You could basically teleport it anywhere you need. Even with the GT parts, you know, if you can't find the uh, GT Satsuma, you can uh, just get it teleported to your driveway and get it installed. Yeah, so if you found the episode helpful, even uh, so, yeah, because I'm on a tutorial mission, just getting as many tutorials as I can out there for 2020, anything that I think would help you guys or that you requested, then yeah, man, just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notifications bell so you're always notified when there is a new tutorial or even a new game being played for that matter. You know, it'd be nice to see you come and join the gaming community. I'm on Instagram, PlayStation, Twitter. I've got a Facebook page now, so you can find us over there. All right. So, yeah, just get subscribed, man, if you find it useful or even interesting. All right. And as always, I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.